an excursion down the Chagres River from Old Gaten to Fort San Lorenzo in the city of Chagres. Excerpts from the book, On the Canal Zone, by Thomas Graham Grier, 1908. I was advised to take an excursion down the Chagres River, and on Saturday I made arrangements for two friends to join me for the next day. It was necessary to get up at 4.30 a.m. in order to get something to eat and catch the 5.30 train from Colum to Gaten. At 5.15 our little party were at the railway station. It only took 20 minutes for the train to make the trip. At one of the way stations three engineers boarded the train. They had been hunting all night, one 85-pound deer was the result of their night's work, and they were a tired and sleepy lot. When we arrived at Gaten my friends, who had not had anything to eat, went up to the mess to get breakfast, and I started to old Gaten to hire a boat a native boat cut from the trunk of a tree. It is called a Kayuko. At 7.15 our craft, containing the two paddlers and three passengers, started on its way to Chagres and Fort Lorenzo. As we drifted past Old Gaten we saw naked children sitting in the shallow water, pouring water over themselves, using a gourd to dip up the water. We passed many Kayukos loaded with various products, bananas, sugar cane, charcoal, we saw the weekly wash of the colored men. They seemed first to go in for a good swim and bath, and let their clothes soak, they then stand beside a floating log and beat and scrub their clothes, then spread them out to dry while they swim some more, coconut palms and milkwood trees were numerous, and also wild cane, from which the natives build their houses, was seen in abundance. In two hours we arrived at Chagres. They were making charcoal where we landed. The Alcalde, the chief of police, and the secretary formed a reception committee to greet us. We signed our names in a book at the city hall, paid 20 cents silver each as a contribution to the good of something, and then went up the hill to visit the old Fort Lorenzo.